Today, we're going to take you through a step-by-step -step process on how to remove a wing boot de-icer. During this video, all tools and supplies necessary for the removal, as well as key steps of the process will be highlighted. The viewing of this video will not certify any company or individual as an official certified eye shield installer and is only to be used for reference purposes. Please reference any instructions for continued airworthiness as specified per the STC for your specific application. If at any point during this video you have any questions or concerns, please reach out to iShield at 1-800-767-6899. Let's begin. Common items necessary for removal of a wing boot de-icer include assorted pliers, a plastic scraper, quarter-inch plexiglass works very well, utility knife with hook blade, a release agent such as Pierco 321 adhesive remover, stir stick, three-inch natural bristle brush, and nitro gloves. The first step is to verify that you have the correct replacement de-ice boot for application. You can check this in the aircraft IPC or determine the part number of the previously installed boot. www.iceshield.com can be used as a reference. Before removal of existing de-icer, carefully remove the new ice shield de-ice boot from its original packing, making sure no sharp edge comes in contact with the de-icer. Save the cardboard tube included with the ice shield packaging for later use. Then place the new ice shield boot over the existing de-icer shiny side up. Make sure that the new de-icer is the same width and length as the one to be removed and that air inlet and cutouts, if any, are in the same position as existing de-icer. Next, move the new ice shield de-icer to a clean, safe location before beginning to remove the old de-icer from the leading edge. Using the utility knife with a hook blade, cut the old de-icer into two to three inch wide horizontal strips. Ensure that the hook knife is in the correct position with the tip of the hook pointed inward toward the leading edge. Be sure that the blade is not cutting into the leading edge to prevent damage. Using a pair of your assorted pliers, lift a section of the old de-ice boot at the corner of the horizontal strip of existing de-icer. Once a few inches of the strip of the existing boot is separated from the leading edge, Pliers may or may not need to be used to physically strip the remaining existing de-icer from the leading edge. Repeat this process until all strips of the old de-icer are removed. After all pieces of boot are removed, apply a coat of a release agent such as Pierco 321 over the remaining adhesive and boot residue and allow saturation for time recommended by the manufacturer of the release agent. Here at Ice Shield, we recommend Pier Co 321 applied in a thick coat, allowing 15 minutes of saturation. If the Pier Co adhesive remover turns white on the leading edge, apply an additional coat. Using a flat edge plastic scraper, be sure not to use metal, remove the release agent and all residue from the leading edge. The release agent process may be repeated as necessary to remove all remaining residue. To complete the removal and prepare the leading edge for installation, clean the leading edge with a soft, clean cloth moistened with toluene. Ensure that there is no adhesive or release agent left on the surface. Inspect the leading edge for any damage that may need to be addressed before installation of new ice shield de-icer. If no damage or corrosion is found, you are ready to proceed to installation. Thank you for viewing this Ice Shield video. We appreciate your business. Force to Focus Studios. Captivate and inspire your audience with breathtaking images.